All right, so uh, we're finished with the grisaille on this one. Um, I actually worked over this a uh, couple days over this one because um, uh, it uh, it just needed some some work, a little touch up. Um, one of the things that I think is really important for any artist to do is to just come back to uh, whatever project uh, painting they're working on and, uh, and kind of look at it with a fresh eye um, and you'll start to see some of the adjustments that you need to make um, little things that are out of place or just don't look right um, it's it's good to <clears throat> to come back with uh, uh, just a fresh look and uh, to to kind of touch those areas up uh, because when you're working on this for hours at a time uh, sometimes you miss uh, the the things that are just not really working and um, and so it's it's easy to, to overlook them uh, but then when you come back later on um, you start to see uh, the little things that uh, that just don't work so uh, so that's what I had to do here earlier on is to kind of uh, touch up a few areas do some scumbling um, and just sort of uh, uh, punch up some of the highlights in a few areas and readjust some drawing and uh, and that sort of thing so uh, anyway the grisaille is done on this one so uh, today we're gonna work on the other one with uh, the first color layer so let's check that one out alright so here we go um, this one is nice and dry it's ready to go and I will be using a Zorn palette for at least this first color stage um, once it gets into uh, the final color stages um, stage or stages uh, I'll be going into a little bit more of a, a fuller palette but um, just for for now we're just gonna be working with uh, black and white and yellow ochre and uh, cadmium red so um, all right, let's get to it. Bye. 
So the uh, the first color layer on this painting is done, um, and it it is what it is. It's you know, what what is to be expected. Um, the color looks a little cold. I I realize that a little lifeless, um, but that's just it, that's by design. It uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's by no means anywhere near a completion. Um, this is just the first layer of color. Um, the uh, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, the the, <clears throat> the brightest value that I have on here um, is what I would consider sort of the the local light value. Um, so I didn't put any highlights on this stage at all. Um, I'm going to wait until later stages, probably in the next stage. Um, but but certainly by the last stage is when I'm going to really focus in on the highlights because uh, I'm going to be kind of scumbling those in. Um, one of the things with this uh, indirect approach to painting is you got to have patience. you got to know where you're going with it um, and, and, and have the patience to get there. Uh, so even when you put your first layer of color down, it's not going to look uh, necessarily what you want it to look in the final product. So, um, and this certainly by no means looks the way it's supposed to look. Um, well, that's alright, because uh, we know where we're going with this. Um, what else was I going to say about this? Oh, the background. Uh, <clears throat> You may have noticed I, when I first started out, I had a pretty, um, a pretty high value uh, over here surrounding the the, the hand. Uh, it's pretty similar to this actually, and um, I did that on purpose to uh, t basically it was just to carve out the shape of the hand. Um, but I did not want that value to be as bright as it was uh, for the. Uh, for the finished piece, uh, so I went ahead and just kind of darkened um, that area a little bit, uh, covered it up some, um, and uh, and in doing so, I realized that the the hand, the the edges of the hand, kind of get lost. Uh, but that's again going to be another area that we focus on in the the next uh, color layers. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, right now, this uh, this painting is just drying. Uh, I'm sitting here watching it dry. Um, but I also have the other painting, of course, that I'm going to be working on. Um, and I have an idea for another painting that I might be starting here pretty soon. So be sure to watch out for that one. And uh, until then, uh, until the next video when we get to the other painting, uh, hope you guys have a great day and God bless you guys.